What is up, everybody? Welcome to Surviving Rocklahoma, your official podcast of Rocklahoma and uh, your growing source of all things local music. Now, I tell you what, guys, we are on the eve of a major road trip for the show. Now, I've I've been across the country towards the west a little bit. I've been to New Mexico. I've been to the Gulf of Mexico, but I have never seen the ocean ocean. Well, that's going to change in just a couple of days. We leave tomorrow for Rock Island, and we're going to be talking about that here a little bit later. We've also got some updates from the Rocklahoma campgrounds and You know it's not surviving Rocklahoma live if we don't bring you some local tunes from some local acts. So join me. I am your host, The Locks That Rocks, Adam Richmond. Welcome to Surviving Rocklahoma. Now, before we get the show started and crack open those cold ones or whatever your refreshment may be, let's go to the comments real quick. All righty. Now, so I see uh, Justin from Open Addiction is in the comments. We're going to be hearing from them here in a little bit. What's up, Justin? Uh, Hey, Stephanie, thank you so much. Safe travels. Cowboys are playing. I mean, kicking some ass. We'll catch the replay. Sorry, no worries, Stephanie. Uh, I think that's the best way for me to get any of my teams to win it's by not watching them i mean it never ever fails every time i root for a team they lose that's that's why it sucks to be a raiders fan right all righty so um with that you know what guys i tell you what we need to pay some homage to some wonderful folks who support this show first up i'm talking of course the people who answers the question what do you want to do with your life And Rocky does. Rocky has, this past year, 2022, bringing an eclectic mix from the OGs of the hip-hop, you know, Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube and Warren G, even the legends of metal, Lamb of God and uh, In Flames and Megadeth, and... Well, even throw back to the hair, you know, he rocked the B.O.K., all of those, plus poison as well now guys um deb concerts are the folks that put on the deb concert stage in the roadhouse at rocklahoma now if you submitted your music for that you know what good luck fingers crossed for you if you land on that stage be sure you shoot me an email to surviving rocklahoma at gmail.com so we can feature it right here now submissions have ended though so deb concerts is no longer accepting submissions for the 2023 season how do you play a rockless home stage i have no idea i wish i knew but uh to my understanding that was the best way for our local independent unsigned you know the acts who want to put in for it my understanding is uh they've got other folks who go out and get us the big names to fill up that lineup who's on the lineup i have no idea i haven't heard anything i haven't even heard the whispers that I usually hear. So, you know, but I have heard the lineup is coming along and we should be seeing it sometime within the next month or two. Lori uh, Brass says in the comments, you're an automatic submission pick, but anybody wanting to send submissions for Rock the Equinox, you can send uh, Rock the Knox at gmail.com. Look at all of you folks. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate those. Now, remember, folks, if you see those alerts popping up in the stream, those are basically uh, stars and likes and follows. All of those things matter. And they go into the show. They help us make a name for ourselves. And that's what we did. And let me tell you what. I want to give uh, pay homage to another sponsor. Let me guys, tell you guys, these guys are the shit. And I'm talking about AYS Reynolds. Ah, oh, no sound effect. Where are you at, cousin? There you are, buddy. Alrighty, so yes, uh, at your service rentals, the only place 
where you can rent portable restrooms for Rocklahoma, and they also serve all of Rocklahoma with those portable sanitation facilities and uh, stations. Now, if you would like to reserve your Rocklahoma portable restroom, for your campsite, well, to do that, you've got to go over to AYSRentals.com. When those, uh, when that opens up, they'll do a Facebook announcement. And may, when we get closer to Rocklahoma, make sure that you are following this podcast because every year we give away some free portable restrooms. We gonna do it again this year? I don't know, but I'm a betting man and I'd bet on it. And we were also giving away pools and RV services. So you never know what you're gonna be getting. Now, uh, I do recommend though, as you are planning your Rocklahoma stay, your your crew, your, your party, your event, whatever it is, I highly recommend getting yourself a portable restroom. You can squat in confidence on those clean facilities brought to you by AYSRentals.com. I also want to give a huge shout out to our other sponsor, Camp Rockavet, a group of veterans who collectively just, man, they move hell and earth to get tickets to facilitate giving away tickets that Rocklahoma and Born and Raised experience, as well as other concerts as well, because you know what? They believe that mutis, <laughs> music is medicine. And with that, they use music to heal all of those troops that have fought and, uh, you know, fought and uh, for our rights in this country. So uh, over the past couple of years, we have facilitated over 60 passes to Rocklahoma and born and raised. Now we will see what this year brings. They are an aspiring non-for-profit group and they are also accepting sponsorships to help themselves boost their budget so that they can give those vets some tickets. Alrighty folks, uh, there we go. April said she won tickets for Josie Scott Friday. Maybe she'll win wrong stuff this year, too. Man, and uh, gosh, I am going to miss seeing Josie Scott at the Shrine this weekend. We know what we're going to talk about that and a few other events here in the calendar coming up. But you know what? I know when you guys tuned in, you, you want to talk rock, right? Well, Rocklahoma is, uh, it's happening, guys. We It's going to be Labor Day again this year. As we talked about it last week, the early renewals opened up on Wednesday. They had so many people RSVP that they needed an extra day to get the carts all ready. So, they, uh, the early renewals are open through January 30th. Did you not get your renewal email? Did you buy your passes from the Rocklahoma box office or website last year? Go ahead and email the uh, the ladies at Rocklahoma. I believe it's info at rocklahoma.com. Don't quote me on that. You can look on their website, rocklahoma.com. Remember, get all of your information directly from the website. Uh, we've all, you know, got rumors and hearsay and we've all heard little tits, tidbits of information but take it all with a grain of salt until you actually see it come from Rocklahoma and then I do my best to echo, uh, echo accurate information as well I see a lot of people in the comments mentioning that they have already renewed Christian Hopkins of Rockavet said they got some big plans for this year as well I see Sparrow from Infall says she can't renew until <laughs> the damn cards in the mail. Don't, don't you? Don't that suck? I hate that. You're always waiting on uh, those cards when you need them. I believe there's going to be some payment plans as well. But guys, be sure you secure your renewals by the 30th. And remember, it's first come, first serve. So, if you renew, um, or if excuse me, if you don't renew, but by the 30th. The seat that you had the previous year becomes vacant, and somebody else that did renew will be able to claim that seat. They 
will so say I renew this year and I want to move up from my row to a couple, you know, any seat that's closer to the stage. I'll put up that I want to upgrade should one of those seats open up. If I was one of the first to renew, I'll get that option. Now, the longer you wait to renew, the less likely you'll be to be able to upgrade or move your seat to a closer or better spot, depending on what's available. Now, as I was saying, there are some rumblings in the campground. I know Camp Flocking Nightmare, Fallon and uh, our Flamingo friend, uh, both did a live stream and... Uh, I fumbled my way into it on the end. We were given a lot of love and just, uh, I, I am so proud of our Oklahoma community, how much they consideration they have for each other and making, you know, I know a lot of folks are afraid of stepping on toes, you know, hey, you know, we want a party too, let's throw us a party, but you know, um, I don't want to take anything away from anybody else, guys. There are plenty, there's plenty of food at the buffet for everybody. I'm saying, don't worry about if your party overlaps with somebody else, unless it's just something you personally want to go and participate and leave your own camp to go with. So, I mean, there are tens of thousands of people that uh, attend this festival, and there's thousands of campsites in those campgrounds, and everybody just, you know, Go party for yourself, and if you want to host some others, do that as well. Just to make sure that you don't take on more than you can chew. And I suggest if you uh, if you haven't thrown a party or anything like that, if if you're wanting to host or something, link up with some of the established folks. Uh, they can show you the ropes because I can tell you. Uh, from experience, sometimes it can be overwhelming if you get larger crew, uh, larger audiences than you initially expected. Christian Hopkins says, "Check out my art page, Trippy Vet. Shout out to Trippy Vet Nine One Eight Art. All profits go to Camp Rockavet for passes." and parties and the food is good uh fallon says hello to my favorite inflatable drum wearing rock star she must be referring to that sparrow in infall bocock and balls says flocking nightmare at rocklahoma 23 yes sir now uh what what are you guys doing i, I see all of you in comments i seen you know over 30 people watching the stream right now Drop in the comments. Let me know how are you planning on doing your Rocklahoma experience. Are you going to be throwing a party? Are you just going to go? Are you taking some friends? You're flying solo? I want to know. And while we are at it, give me your top five bands. Top five bands that you want to see on that Rocklahoma 2023 lineup. And I tell you guys what, while we are waiting on that, while we see what all is going on, I've got something to talk about. I am so excited and it is through the support of you all and, you know, some uh, generous offers from the folks that are uh, putting this shindig on. You know what? We are going to make a cross country trip this week. Now, I was supposed we were going to leave Sunday. We were going to leave Sunday. The plan was we were going to get down to Key West and we were going to camp rock style. And however, the campsite fell through. Um, we will just say we had some booking issues and unfortunately there was nothing else available for the full week uh, in a way that we could stay under budget. So what with a, uh, uh, Hail Mary at the end, our good, my good uh, friend Angel, who's going to be joining me for this trip, found us a houseboat for us to rent. We chartered a houseboat for the weekend. And so we are going to be arriving in Key West, Florida, uh, January 19th. It's going to be, I believe, Thursday morning so that we can still catch uh, part of the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of Rock Island. But 
guys, we're also going to be on a boat. So you know what? We're going to rock the yacht, I say. But uh, I tell you guys, check out... Check out this uh, this lineup. We've got Enough Z Enough, Jet Boy, um, Pretty Boy Floyd. They're all playing on Tuesday. Now Wednesday we've got Lover Boy, Steven Adler, Honeymoon Sweet Helix. Now I'm going to be arriving Thursday afternoon just in time to see uh, the replacements for a couple of folks that was on this lineup, but unfortunately. Um, Vince Neal ended up coming down with COVID on Friday afternoon. So they had to go ahead and uh, do a switcheroo there. And so uh, 38 Special will now be headlining on Thursday night. Uh, Slaughter replaced Vince Neal. Quiet Riot will also be playing Thursday. And instead of Wigwam, we're going to have Lynch Mob. Uh, Friday, we're going to have Sticks, Extreme, Striper, Black and Blue. And then on the final day, we're going to have Autograph, Stephen Piercy, Queensryche. And we're going to end it with Tesla. I'm so excited, guys. And uh, this is going to be a cross-country trip for us, as I was saying. Uh, we are going to leave tomorrow. We're going to take our sweet time getting across the country. We want to uh, make a couple of stops, see some land, uh, some landmarks and along the way. And then we'll be rolling in. We'll hop on the boat, get ourselves situated, go down, see the festival, and then probably... Friday morning, we might take the boat out. You never know. But we got to go see some beaches. We got to do some really cool stuff. And that uh, key, uh, the Rock Island, it's multiple venues. It's not just the amphitheater. There's several different venues. That means we're going to have to do some uh, party hopping as we crawl across the aisle for Rock Island 2023. Now, guys, if you would like to kick in, uh, as I always say, I never ask for bread off anyone's table. However, if you got some despair, you just want to support the show, you can help us rock the yacht. And you can, by doing that, you can uh, either send it by PayPal or you can send it to Cash App. And the Cash App is Surviving Rock Oklahoma on Cash App. I'll also have the links. Check out survivingrocklahoma.com. I'm going to be doing a blog post. I just posted the second blog today talking about uh, my thoughts, kind of where we're at and what we want to experience on this festival. I'm going to do my best to do a couple of blog posts every day so you guys can kind of see my journey or my uh, journal across the travels, our captain's log, if you will. Now, I tell you what. I flatten my gums quite a bit. It's it's 20 minutes past the hour. I tell you what, we need some music to break up the monotony of my wonderful voice. I tell you guys what, I was going to uh, debut this a couple of weeks ago, but as you know, sometimes we get te uh, technical difficulties here on the live stream. So here it is to make up for it. Some of my great friends from Northwestern Arkansas. This is Open Addiction.
And that was my good friends in Open Addiction with Ghost. That's one of their new tracks. And I believe they're working on a whole new album. I don't know, but you can find out by checking out Open Addiction on Facebook. Uh, now, guys, uh, we like to talk about the calendar. Let you all know what is going on in your area. Well, this week in uh, northeastern Oklahoma, we've got uh, Josh Turner. If you're if you all in the country, you know maybe some you're some of the folks that are joining the stream from the born and raised side of things. Well, Josh Turner is going to be at the Hard Rock Casino this Wednesday at 7 p.m. I hear he's down to be your man. All right. A Grand Funk Railroad will also be uh, at Hard Rock Casino January 19th. Now, come on. Grand Funk Railroad, you got to see the legends. I mean, the way these these cats have impacted music is, I mean, just ridiculous. I love I love a little bit some music with a little bit of that funk. It's just it gets me every time. Now, this Friday at the Venue Shrine is going to be Josie Scott, the voice of Saliva. Uh, also this Friday at the River Spirit Casino Boys to Men. Now, some good friends of mine. Groucho is going to be playing at Badass Renee's this Saturday along with Heavy Jones. Let's not forget about Nelly's going to be at the River Spirit Casino next week. Uh, smells like Nirvana coming up uh, Friday, January 27th. Excuse me, Nell Nelly's going to be January 26th at the uh, River Spirit Casino. Let's see what's going on. Hey, what is up? I see Rebel Angel is in the comments. All righty. And uh, yeah, I've been talking about Rock Island and uh, this is, you know, it takes place in Key West, Key West, Florida, out there, it, literally in the middle of the ocean. We're going to be have to drive three hours on this ocean highway just to get to the island. We're going to be hanging out on a boat and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to do a lap around the island or two so we can get you all some great shots. We're going to be seeing how they do things down on the coast, down on the ocean. Now, um, we're going to have a couple of days that we're going to be doing this. We're going to be covering the festival, that, but we're also going to catch the uh, after hours at this several of the different venues as they're spread out across the island as well as just bringing you some of the beach life and ocean life and you never know who we're going to see who we're going to bump into i know there's a few folks that we know and love from rocklahoma that is going to be down there too so i don't know we, we just gotta see and uh, be sure that you are following the Facebook page, uh, Surviving Rocklahoma. And also make sure that you uh, check us out on YouTube, Surviving Rocklahoma on YouTube. We're live on YouTube right now. So if you check us out on there, be sure you hit that subscribe button too. We always post all of our interviews on there, but I'm gonna to try to put some uh, some nice videos and pieces together from our trip, and all of that stuff will obviously be going to YouTube, and maybe if uh, it, I'm not a to total hopeless case when it comes to social media platforms, maybe Angel will be able to teach me a little bit about Instagram and TikTok, too, so that we can actually get some cool videos to you. Uh, I see Britt Simmons is in the comments. What's up, Britt? Our uh, favorite gypsies from uh, Rock the Equinox. Let me tell you guys something. If Britt ever, ever, if you see some gypsy-looking lady come up to you and say, you know what, I'm we're going to make some, uh, some crab legs and some steaks. You want to come and eat? Trust me, it's not a trick. These girls know how to cook. Yeah, oh, it's it's one of my favorite experiences from Rock the Equinox. Yes, thank you, Lori. I can't wait for our adventure too. I'm excited about some authentic Cuban food. That I'm a foodie, so uh, I I'm really excited about that Cuban food. Where have you guys? What is the farthest you all have traveled for a music festival? Drop it drop it in the comments. 
in the meantime, uh, you know, in the weeks to come, I was telling you about some things we've got coming up. Uh, Nelly and uh, there's a Nirvana tribute band going to be playing soon. Aaron Lewis is going to be at the River Spirit, uh, Soulfly at the Vanguard, Mark Chestnut. Adam Sandler is going to be at the T-Mobile Center. Oh, my gosh. I want to go to that one. And a uh, huge shout-out to some folks who uh, sent me and uh, requested that I put them on our calendar. Well, you know what? Here in a couple of weeks, February 23rd, New Metal is Dead. It's a venue that uh, is going to be, or excuse me, an event that's going to be coming up. I don't have all the information, but supposedly this is going to be a really uh, awesome event that's going to have some great locals and i feel like we might see some of our rock crew there as well san bernardino uh, san bernardino for not fest uh christie's that says that's the farthest she went uh matthew mccauley says he went to colorado pamela this is her third year to attend aftershock in sacramento california Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, Sabretooth is in the comments. Says, never traveled too far for a festival, but we did play all the way to Hollywood to play. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Sabretooth drove all the way to Hollywood to play the Anvil back in July. It was seriously the most surreal event they've ever ever played and i want to give a huge shout out to my guys in Sabretooth. if you haven't been listening to them you need to go check them out on facebook they've got some great music especially if you like that grunt dark grunge and punk and oh i just love them can't get enough of those guys uh christy also drove to virginia for the first blue ridge what is up fireball who mr fireball in the comments i'm sure uh, even the fireball was still burning bright in colorado all right guys coming up as uh Lori was saying in the comments rock the equinox is accepting submissions to play their stage here uh the rock the equinox is i believe correct me if I'm wrong i want to say it's in october uh if you would like to play on a rock the equinox it's a free festival in stigler oklahoma lake john wells i've been going the last several years and it gets bigger and better every year free lake free camping there's food trucks i bring a bounce house down there and there's just great music that goes all weekend long if you are a band that would like to play that festival make sure you look them up on facebook rock the equinox they're accepting submissions through march 15th i know everybody else has been asking about the uh submitting for rock lahoma 2023 the fact of the matter is i don't know how you get to play a rock lahoma stage except for in the roadhouse the deb concerts stage they did have submissions for about a month or two but those have closed so sending me your music that's all the only thing i can promise you is a chance to be featured right here on the podcast as far as playing an official sanctioned rocklahoma stage i can't help you other than i if they ask i can say hey you should check these guys out well i tell you know what speaking of you know we take submissions all the time we love folks to send us their music so that we can feature them right here on the podcast because that's what it's all about featuring local music when we're not covering our favorite music festival loud local and live well here's another band that uh, just i had they weren't even on my radar but i really did like their sound and uh you know what here is uh, via linda
and that was Violinda with Take the L, right? I, yes, right? I love all of those response in the comments. Guys, give them the love. Come on. Give them the love. That was a freaking awesome track. I can't wait to hear and see more from that band, Violinda. Once again, that was Take the L. You need to check them out on Facebook. Remember, guys, this is how we support local music. We feature them on the show and let you all know where to go to find them. Well, I tell you what, and uh, I say it each and every week, guys. Uh, seriously, though, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. I love doing this. And this show is has uh, opened so many doors for me, including one that we are traveling across country to. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning with a photographer. I got my own photographer. I can't stop saying that. It's just so freaking crazy and absurd to me. But uh, I want to thank so much Rebel Angel for joining me for this trip, being my guardian angel. I am in good hands, folks. I'm traveling with a veteran, and uh, I've got my own personal Ronda Rousey. So anyone uh, tries to uh, give me any static, she'll be right there to throw one right across their jaw, just like they do in the good old U.S. of A. Now, I tell you what, folks, um, if you would like to be featured on Surviving Rock, Oklahoma, the only ones in your way is you. I'm telling you, you got a band, you, you, you like your sound, you, everyone around you likes your sound, send me an email, survivingrocklahoma at gmail.com. You're going to be playing in the area? I want to know where you're playing. Include that information too. Just throw me in a whole EPK, an electronic press kit, complete with a logo. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Throw me some links so I can see some music. Tell me when you're going to be playing. I'll put all of that stuff out there. Help me help you. And if you are just an avid uh, local music enthusiast, well, you can check us out on Spotify as well. We, the podcast is on there, as well as some of the interviews we've done over the past year. Some of these great uh, folks that we featured as well as I've got a uh, playlist, Surviving Rocklahoma Local Grown, and I've got locals lined up and thrown into that playlist. And if you want to hit the download button, you'll have them in your pocket, whether you've got signal or not. Now, I've got a, I got a question for you all. I am going to be uh, on this trip. We, we, we're going to need good music. In the comments, drop me some of your favorite road playlists. I want to see, uh, give us something to jam and jam out to. You never know, we might go live and do a car karaoke or something. Who knows? Maybe I'll get brave enough to sing in front of somebody. Uh, also, folks, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. Once again, DEB Concerts. I want to rock! Who uh, rocks the BOK each and every year, but they've also rocking the Roadhouse on the DEB stage at Rock, Oklahoma. Also want to give a huge shout out to our official portable restrooms, uh, or supplier of portable restrooms, excuse me, at your service Beautiful. rentals. And also Camp Rock Event, who is doing just the Lord's work and giving the gift of med giving the medicine that is music to all of those veterans. Now, if you would like to support the show, if you would like to become a sponsor, you can shoot me an email at survivingrocklahoma at gmail.com. I am also uh, shaking my chip, my tin can, my uh, change jar. If you would like to donate towards the trip, we'll have uh, information on there, including you can just shoot a donation through uh, Cash App, which is probably the easiest way. There is the link right there. You can also uh, shoot via PayPal or we are selling t-shirts and if you uh, buy a t-shirt, or excuse me, all donations, of forty dollars or more will get you a free t-shirt or you can just buy a t-shirt and that that helps too it doesn't matter however you do it but guys thank you all so much for tuning into the stream we are going to be uh going live sporadically over the course of the next week and keeping you all 
tuned in and uh, linked in as we make this trek across the country. You got any ro uh, land uh, land marks? <laughs> Uh, along our trip, uh, you can see the route by going to the blog on survivingrocklahoma.com. You can kind of get an idea of what route we're going to take and let us know what kind of uh, landmarks are along the way. Maybe we'd like to uh, check something cool out. But uh, that does it for me. I've got to break all of this stuff down and pack it up and get ready. So until I see you guys next time, as always, rock on.